Boys of the Year, at least Warner Wolf does, and he's here with part one this morning. Warner? All right, thank you, Sandy. All right, let's go to the videotape, the first half of the Plays of the Year of 1986. In, in January, the shot of the month, Herb Williams, Indiana Pacers, NBA record 81-footer swish. The best effort for a loose ball by a superstar, Larry Bird, into the stands. The best brawl by two seven-footers, seven-foot-six, Manute Bowl of the Bullets, and seven-foot-one, Juwan Oldham, then of the Bulls. Bowl find 500, Oldham find 1,500. The worst college brawl of the month. Without question, Florida versus Georgia. David Dunn of Georgia in the white, Kenny McClary of Florida in the orange. The best reaction to a missed field goal, Ford Ravez of the Dolphins, who slaps Don Blackman of the Patriots. Take that. The best flip of the month, Super Bowl, Jim McMahon, hit by Ronnie LaPet up and over. The best run by a horse without a jockey, tribute to Ted, who lost his jockey at the gate in the first race at Aqueduct. In February, the best stuff of the month by a little man, 5'7", Spud Webb in the slam dunk contest. The longest NBA shot of the month, Julia serving 50-footer against Dallas, swish. The best flying check of the month, Scott Stevens of the Caps against Chris Nyland of Montreal. The worst hockey exchange of the month, Dino Cicerelli of Minnesota in the green, Al Secord of the Blackhawks in the white. The worst case of hitting a man while he's down, Kevin Johnson, boom, golden gloves. The most upset tennis player of the month, Jimmy Connors, who complains and then walks off the court against Yvonne Lendl. In March, the high school shot of the month, Chris Knowles, Buena Vista 60-footer, and the Buena Vista coach faints on the court. Best off-balance shot while falling out of bounds, James Parker, Triton College, tries to save it and makes the shot. Longer shot of the NBA, John Bagley, Cleveland 70-footer, and swish. The best impromptu dance by a college coach, St. John's Lou Carnesecca after winning the Big East Tournament. The Hockey Fight of the Month, Rick Tockett of the Flyers in the white, George McPhee of the Rangers in the blue. The worst skiing attempt of the month, Ulf Fenderson of East Germany, World Ski Championships in Cone, Austria. Fenderson suffered only a broken collarbone. In April, the best catch by a right fielder, Tom Bernanski of the Twins, robbing Willie Randolph. The best catch by two players on one ball, Met shortstop Rafael Santana and left fielder George Foster. Best play at the plate with no one coming home, Mike Heath of the Cardinals. The most upset batter of the month, Tigers' Dave Collins, who charges the mound and goes after the White Sox, Floyd Bannister. The best hockey check of the month, Western Hockey League, down goes Jim Agnew of Portland. The strongest wrestler of the month, Hulk Hogan, who picks up 365-pound Big John Stud and then 480-pound King Kong Bundy. In May, the best play by a shortstop going in the hole, Sean Dunson of the Cubs, who makes the stop and throws out Mike Sosha. Collision of the month, Angel center fielder Gary Pettis and left fielder Brian Downing, and boom, down they go. The worst catch by a right fielder, A's Rookie of the Year, Jose Conseco. Nice catch, Jose. The game-winning shot of the month, Rockets' Ralph Sampson, one second left, eliminating the Lakers four games to one for the Western title. The slide of the month for a loose ball, Danny Ainge of the Celtics. Give us a smile, Danny. The best tackle by an NBA referee, Jeff Kersey, who tackles seven-foot Akeem Olajuwon. The best return of a tennis shot, Boris Becker, Tournament of Champions, between his legs in the shot. The most incredible golf shot of the year, Dave Halderson, 14th hole, par four, 120-yard shot, and the ball rolls up the hill, and then down the hill, and back into the hole. In June, the best catch by a right fielder, robbing a player of a home run, Dave Winfield of the Yankees, robbing Lee Lacey of the Orioles. The best right hand of the month, Frankie Randall. Here it comes, and boom, down goes Sammy Fuente. The goal of the month, Maradona against England in the quarterfinals of the World Cup, and the goal coming up, and Argentina wins it 4-1. to one. And Sandy Hill was at the game. Please, come on. All right, next Friday, the second Please. half of the plays of the year of 1986. I don't know which <laughs> shot makes me more incredulous, the last one or that golf shot, Warner. That's amazing. I like the last one better. Come on. <laughs> this is Warner Wolf. <laughs>
up for the plays of the year of 1986. Let's go to the videotape. Best effort by a left fielder in a college game on a home run, Hawaii left fielder Mark Matsubara. Nice try, Mark. The bonehead play of the month. Ground ball to Andy Van Slyke of the cards. Throw to second to one, back to first. No, cut off by Van Slyke. The two oldest guys in a brawl. 56-year-old giant manager Roger Craig and 55-year-old cardinal manager Whitey Herzog. The auto crash of the month without an injury. Don Garlitz, Summer Nationals, English Town, New Jersey, no injuries. Best combination puncher of the month, Ali Salam. Left, right, left, right, down goes Ken Robbins. In August, the best catch by diving left fielder, Lonnie Smith of Kansas City, robbing Mike Greenwall of the Red Sox. The best catch by a right fielder, Tony Armas of the Red Sox, robbing Corey Snyder of Cleveland. The best catch by a shortstop, Ozzie Smith of the Cardinals, over the shoulder, and robbing Von Hayes of the Phillies. The worst play by an outfielder, Mitch Webster of Montreal. Nice catch, Mitch. The worst play by three fielders on one play, Wilson, Santana, and Dykstra of the Mets. The most upset manager of the month, Lou Pinella of the Yankees. Kick it, Lou, one more time. The NFL brawl of the month, Bears-Cardinals exhibition game. 26 Bears and 25 Cardinals find a total of $14,300. The worst move by a TV camera crew, the La Chine bike race in Montreal, obviously failing to get off the track in time. The golf shot of the month, Bob Tway chip shot out of the bunker to win the PGA. In September, the best catch taking away a home run, Rick Manning of the Brewers. The best catch by diving left fielder, Ben Ogilvie, also of the Brewers. The best play by a third baseman going into the dugout, Denny Walling of the Houston Astros. The best effort by a left fielder going into the stands, Dan Pasqua of the Yankees. The best play by a pitcher with a ball stuck in his glove, Terry Mulholland of the Giants, who throws the ball and glove for the out. The collision of the month, Spike Owen of the Red Sox, hit by teammate Jim Rice, who makes the catch. Best move after striking out, Mike Laga of the Cardinals. Hit that helmet. Worst move by an usher in Tiger Stadium, who accidentally puts a box in front of Darnell Coles. The best dive into the end zone, Gary Anderson of the San Diego Chargers. The best play by an NFL official, back judge Jim Poole, who makes the interception. Go, Jim! In October, the best catch by an outfielder going against the fence, Brian Downing of the Angels, game five of the playoffs. Best catch by a second baseman, Bill Doran of the Astros in game one. The hockey fight of the month, Joe Sorello of the Devils in the light, Bobby Basson of the Islanders in the dark. The punch of the month, Terry Crystal in the green trunks, boom! Right hand, down goes Jim Baker, and the fight is over. In November, the best desperation pass of the month, Patriots trailing the Rams 28-23. No time left. Eason to Morgan to Fryer. Touchdown, and the Patriots win. The cheap shot of the month, Charles Martin of Green Bay, who slams down Jim McMahon. Martin is suspended two games. Worst move by NFL official, Neil Garib, clobbered by Walter Payton. The best Keystone Cops kickoff return as time runs out. Cardinals trailing the Redskins, 20 to 17. Last play of the game with nothing to lose. Who's got it? Stump Mitchell. Stump says, I don't want it. You take it. Forget it. Take it back here. Who's got it? Over here. Stump Mitchell. Let's try this. Stump says, you know what? I've had it. I'm pooped. This kickoff return is over. The worst move by a coach, Maryland's Bobby Ross, who charges the official after mistakenly thinking North Carolina had no timeouts left before kicking the game-winning field goal. Ross suspended one game. The longest shot of the month, Michael Jordan, half court, 47-footer, good. Best pass without looking, Magic Johnson to James Worthy. The best shot that didn't count, Larry Bird from behind the backboard. The longest hockey shot of the month, Willie Huber, New York Rangers, 100-foot shot from behind the red line, good. The shot of the month while on your stomach, Joel Quenville, Hartford. After being tripped, Quenville still takes the shot and makes it. The worst case of spearing, Kelly Miller of the Rangers in the blue. Down goes Mario Lemieux of Pittsburgh. 
The best move by a coach preventing a fight. Red Wings Jacques Demure are pulling back Gerard Gillon. Worst hockey brawl of the month. Bruins Canadians. Montreal's Chris Nyland pushes Kenny Linsman to the Bruins. Second period has to be cut short and added to the third period. Eight players ejected, 164 minutes in penalties, $14,200 in fines, and Nyland suspended three games. Most upset tennis player of the month. Hannah Manlikova, Virginia Slims. Best example of a fighter on Queer Street, Trevor Burbick against Mike Tyson, second round. Burbick not only goes down one time from the same punch, gets up, goes down two times from the same punch, gets up and goes down three times from the same punch. In December, the best steal and stuff of the month, Dominique Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks. The worst case of illegal use of the hands at the line of scrimmage, number 37, Lester Hayes of the Raiders against Daryl Turner of the Seahawks. The most bizarre play of the month, Tampa Bay quarterback Steve Young, back to pass throws, intercepted by Todd Bell of the Bears, who laterals to Mike Richardson. Richardson then, however, laterals to Vince Heflin of Tampa Bay and its touchdown Buccaneers. The most embarrassing play of the month by celebrating a touchdown too soon. BYU quarterback Bob Jensen, clear field ahead at the 10-yard line, raises his hands and falls down. The best recovery after falling down, Raiders linebacker Matt Millen. Get up, Matt. Take a bow. The punch of the month, Tyrell Biggs, right hand, and boom. Down goes Ronaldo Snipes. And Sandy Hill's brother, King of the Hill, was at the game. <laughs> the plays of the year. Until next oh. Friday, this is Warner Wolf. <laughs> I, too, am glad the year is over. Thank you, Warner. <laughs> Happiest of. All right.